What's up everyone, Hovac and Ellen here and in today's video we're gonna talk about this little device, piece of equipment. You probably saw, not probably, you saw Ellen using it in the beginning of the video. Uh, it's a small piano slash keyboard which has a lot of sounds from the company called Popium Music. This one is called Popium Piano and Ellen is gonna explain everything about uh, this piano. It's not just a piano, it comes with an app. But before we do it, uh, I have a little surprise. Uh, I want to do something that probably Ellen doesn't expect. Because in just a few hours, it's her birthday. What? Oh, what? <laughs> it's her birthday. So I want to say happy birthday <laughs> and I want to say that I'm very proud of you. Can I eat that now? Can I kiss? <laughs> Without a big wish? Uh, uh, my birthday's not now. <laughs> well, in, in almost 35 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh no, there's... Oh no! Oh and no. Smoke! I have a small... Something for you. Smoke. Oh wow. Oh, I keep getting frosted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's let's continue. I want to throw it. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of the frame and let Ellen explain everything about it. Get out of here. Okay, bye. Okay, so let's begin with the basics. So we turn on by pressing on. It takes like a second. There. Now it is not connected yet, so we have to press the app. And right now it doesn't show it like this. <laughs> Okay, first download the app, you'll have to sign in with like an email and a password. And then once you're done with that, it'll show this screen. It has to be on and by your device for it to work. And it'll show here, Poppy Piano. Now it's on. Okay, so let's go to Game and Course. It has a lot of courses, like both hand courses, where you play with both of your hands, and the basics, where it's for complete beginners, where it's just basically, it starts with one note, with, it shows videos. What is Do? On Poppy Piano, the colors red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and violet represent the seven notes. Do is the red note. Curve your thumb and use the side of your fingertip to play it. Play it again and wait for the feedback. In the gaming mode, play the note when the red bar touches the bass line. Play it again, but this time make sure not to release your finger until the bars disappear. This is how you play Do. Now, this, this is a chord pad, and you're probably wondering what it's for. So it's, um, right now it's set to chords. You can also set it to percussion where it's like the the kick and the snare and the hi-hat and so on. There's also a dazzling mode where you can change the color of your keyboard to a cool color effect like this or you can change it to white or you can just keep it white like this but it's really cool in general. It has advanced keyboard courses. It has piano solo courses, sing-along courses. The coolest part is that the actual 
exercises and the learning parts are like a game, which is really cool, especially for kids. Okay, so as you can see, it's easy stuff. And it shows with a color on the, key on the keyboard. And as you can see, it stops when I don't play the note and it waits for me to play it. Or when I play it wrong, it, yeah. Moving on, there's pop hits where, this is copyrighted so I can't actually play any of the songs, but um, there's actual like popular songs from rock or pop or, now I'm gonna type in for the occasion. All right. Just to see how it does. You can choose between pa practice, demonstration, and play. Practice is just, yeah. And then demonstration, it shows you how to play it. You can share, share your play with your friends to make them jealous. <laughs> All right, so that's basically it for the pop hits. Um, another one, another f feature is free play, where you can access a lot of effects and record them with tracks to make your own song. Okay, this is piano. You know that one. And then there's strings. There's bass. I did that wrong. Okay, there's percussion. And then, really fun. This is my personal favorite effect. Okay, a cool thing is you with all those different types of sounds, you can record with different tracks and create your own little original song. And it's kind of like Pro Tools. And let me just go to percussion and you can record it. You can turn on and off the metronome as well. You can put a loop or you can put to music sequencer where you just basically play the whole song at the moment, which is different, but I'm gonna do a loop right now. Four loops, all right. Now I'm gonna add the hi-hat. Now a cool feature is that you can quantize. If your beat or rhythm is a bit off, like just now, you can um, press on the actual track of which one was kind of off and you can press beat alignment 1 to 16 note and confirm and it'll be on beat so that's a cool feature now i'm gonna add the bass and one more thing little too high for bass and this is for all of the sounds including piano you can increase the octave so if you think it's too little no not many octaves you're wrong you can also higher the octave or you could disconnect the chord extension and you can add the extra keyboard connect okay that's too much. Well, I don't need that now, but that was just a little example. Okay. Okay. Quantize, yeah. 
Okay, moving on to piano. Okay, this feature counts for every single sound, but you can change the sound or instrument. Now, for piano, it says sound. I'm going to change it to this cool sound. Okay. Now I'm going to play the whole thing. And then it loops. So that's a cool thing. Another cool feature in this app is that you can both play and sing at the same time while it shows you chords and the lyrics to a specific song that you choose. So you can choose a popular song or you can choose a simple song like Jingle Bells, which I'm going to be doing. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Say, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you can also record yourself singing the song while it shows the lyrics. They also have it in white, so if you like the white one better, get the white one. Now, besides using this keyboard with the app, you can use it as a separate MIDI keyboard for your other programs like Pro Tools or Logic or whatever else you use for your own sound library. That's pretty cool. Okay, that was it for Ellen's teaching part. Uh, I think uh, she did a great job and you guys can see that this is a very interesting piece of device, piece of equipment. Uh, and the company is very serious. Uh, when, when they reached out, I thought maybe it's you know just another toy piano, but it's not. It's uh, it's compatible. I, I think Ellen already explained uh, that it's compatible with Cubase, Logic, uh, Pro Tools, with, with lots of DAWs. Just connect the USB cable, and it just works as a MIDI keyboard. And the company actually has a few awards, uh, and I want to mention them: uh, International Design Excellence Award and the IF Design Award. So they, they, they are very serious about their stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, uh -huh. and share this video so your friends have a better chance of getting this than you. Yeah, if you're a good friend, <laughs> you should definitely do that. Or don't. <laughs> That's it for today's video uh, and lastly I want to thank to all our Patreon supporters because you guys are amazing and we just continue doing what we love to do thanks to you. Your support is greatly appreciated. You guys are amazing and thank you for supporting us. And if you want to become a uh, supporter on Patreon, the link also is going to be in the description. That's it and we'll see you on the next video. Right? Yeah. Peace. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.